Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to write a simple program to find greatest amount of numbers using ideally Python. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to write a simple program to find greatest among two numbers using IDLE. So what is IDLE? Integrated Development Learning Environment. So in order to achieve the task, we should open Python IDLE. So how to open Python IDLE? So just go to start, so where you can see IDLE Python. Just click on it in order to open the IDLE. So now you open the Python shell. And now we want to create our script. So go to File and New. So where go to File, first Save. So I created a folder called as Example. Inside this, I'm going to save ex2. Save it. So now what is our task? We want to get two inputs, and we want to compare the input. And we want to tell which is greater and which is lesser. So in order to get to get the two input, let us say I'm using the variable a. So input of let us say enter enter a value. And then I need one more variable because I am in need of two variables in order to compare it. So input. So enter B value. So anyway, these two values will be the same. If you want to compare, we want to convert it as integer. So I'm going to convert it as integer value. So how to cast it? Just put integer. So you'll cast the values. And then now we want to compare. So if you want to compare, you want to use if if a is greater than b and close this by semicolon. And then use print in order to print it. Print a so a is big if you want to display the value you can display the value a value or else if the condition fails you want to print print so all small letters print b is big so display the value. once you finish the task go to file save and then go to run just run the model so now it is asking for a value in the a value it is 18 and b value 20 where b is big so Another way, if you want to print this value, see, I'm using another way. Let us say single post. B value is big. I'm using zero. And then here you want to change it as dot format. Of so now we'll check it out. Go to file, save, and run. So now we are going to give B value as a greater value. Now say it is display. So either you can use the print like this or in this way as you like. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video.